What is up, FIFA commenters? Thank you for tuning in. Let's start this episode. If you're new around these corners, you know how it goes. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, do let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, today eSports has gone ahead and released Gary Medel, sensational player. Let's start with the Did You Know section. Did you know that Gary Medel has been praised over his last performances for Bologna? The Italian media says, and I quote, Bologna won last Thursday against Cagliari and last Sunday against Lecce after suffering actually four consecutive losses. So it only makes sense that the Chilean player is praised. Bologna is currently sitting at 13th in the Serie A table. The Chilean player has infected the rest of his team with the strong desire to succeed and advance in the table, moving away from the relegation stage where Bologna is currently sitting very close to. I do want to show you really quickly my first red pick from this weekend league. I actually played with this player the entire weekend league. His name is Rabio. His mother is all over his career, but it is what it is. I was happy Esports gave me a Frenchman. Whatever, we take it. He graduated the Youth Academy of Universidad before moving to Boca Junior. Boca Junior, where he did from 2009 to 2011, 46 appearances, scoring only seven goals, and then moved to Sevilla. Sevilla from 2011 to 13. Then it was time for the Premier League, Cardiff City, and then he moved to Inter Milan. This man has never been on loan which is an interesting test to his character this guy never has been placed on loan uh, then he played for Besiktas from 2017 to 2019 and since 2019 has been playing for Bologna and has been doing decently 78 appearances zero goals looking at the card we have on screen what an interesting card he is medium high work rate that is that is very good he's a CDM five foot seven though five foot seven boys that is the first sort of red flag now he's right footed three star skill four star weak foot that is A-OK. -okay. The four-star weak foot is actually appreciated, even though he does not have any shooting attributes. Now, he can play as a CDM. Never play him as a CDM, obviously. He's five foot seven. Uh, he can play as a CM. That's potentially where I would suggest you would play him. But even then, there are some red flags there because he is high defensive, not high high. Okay, moving on to the attribute details. Why are we saying he's not going to be able to shoot? Is that look at these shooting stats. 60 attack position, 55 finishing. That's not good. 99 long, sh long shots? Okay. Maybe the Trivelas might work on the ref look, but not really. The pace is decent. Very, very decent. The passing on this card excels, right? He has 86 visioning, 86 short pass, 84 long pass. That is very, very good. The dribbling on this card. Boys, this man right here is very interesting because he is a stocky body type. And stocky body type, boys, you know, does not fare super duper well. But that's still okay. Like I was saying, stocky body type. That's still okay. You know why? Because he has still very good, decent agility. 80 agility, 90, 93 balance, 85 reaction, 77 ball control, 74. That's all pretty decent, even though he is stocky. Now, he reminds me a lot of Torreira. He's a stocky version of Torreira, of course. If you look at Torreira, Torreira and him have very similar in-game stats. Where a medal would vary is for the defensiveness, the physicality, as opposed to Torreira. But Torreira is a lot more agile. He is short and lean. Medel is stocky. But in terms of height, they have... It is the same height. They're basically the same player in game when you look at how they move and their height and their body shape in the game. But this guy Medel is a little bit different. He's a lot stronger. He can uh, defend a little bit. He can defend a lot better, but he is less agile. Now, I would suggest my favorite uh, chem style on a card like this, which would be the engine. Boost the pace, boost the passing, boost the, the, the dribbling. The physicality is okay for a player that, that of that height. Uh, the physicality is still okay. I want, the def I want the dribbling to be maxed out, really, really maxed out because he's stocky, right? If you could do that, you ensure that you move the best under the worst conditions if you're playing a game with this player in your squad. The defending, sensational. I won't even dive too much into that, boys. Look at that, 85 defending awareness, 86 stand tackling. For a player that's five foot seven, that's decent. Very, very decent. The physicality, exceptional. He is going to win those 1v1s with that 93 aggression, 86 strength. And he also, have di he also has dive into tackle, which, my friends, is crazy. Now, what you will need to complete this SPC, the first uh, panel requires an 82 overall. One team of the season, one Serie A player. The menus are so slow, boys. It's incredible. So, one Serie A player, 182, 84 or higher, 82 overall. Esports is really controlling the market this year. It's really not a free market. They, they decide which cards are going to go up in price. But you do see here as well, one team of the week, 83 overall, uh, and uh, a, a three at the back formation there. And then finally, you have 185 or higher, 186 higher required here, and 84 overall on the 433 third variation. Boys, I think, honestly, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's not bad because like I was showing to you earlier right here, you have, if you went ahead and completed yourself 
the Bologna boy, the Bologna boys, you have Alnutovic, you have Puch, you can drop him down here, never do that. But ideally, play him as a CM, stay forward so that he can intercept the ball high, right? I would play him as a CM, even though he has high attacking, I'll, stay, I'll put stay forward so that he can intercept be a, a bit of a pit bull up in the uh, up in the pitch for me and distribute the ball. I would not play him as a CDM because you have the likes of Kissy, you have the likes of Fofana, you have the likes of even Rabiot who just came out. You need height in this game. You cannot have a five foot seven CDM. That's it's just as simple as that. So you have some options, but this card really does have some limits. So Make sure if you complete him, you know what you're doing, he fits into your team, and you just have fun. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, do let me know in the comment section below if you will be completing a card like this. He's sensational, he's good, but he is for only certain people on the channel. Peace out, boys. Drop a like. Peace out.